Hey guys, Jordan here for CineCon.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday. Today we're going to recreate the third eye effect as seen in the film Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. In this tutorial video, you are going to learn how to stabilize a third eye, then track it back onto your forehead and finally make your forehead flesh go open to reveal that third eye. Really cool, really fun, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. You. So here are the shots that you're gonna need. First of all, obviously from yourself. And we're gonna shoot this off from a tripod, that way we don't have to deal with extra tracking work in post-production. Next up, you wanna make sure that the lighting over your face is pretty flat. That means no shadows between your two eyes. Again, that is going to make it easier for us to blend it all together in post-production. And last, but not least, a shot of the third eye, which is actually between us, just Janik's left eye. Now, Janik did rest his head onto a stand, that way, again, we don't have to deal with extra tracking work inside Adobe After Effects. Now, as he was resting his head on that stand, he was also pulling up his eyebrow. And that way, we have a little bit more space to do the masking, which we're gonna need to do inside Adobe After Effects. So, let's see how that is done. We have all the footage that we need, and because we are recreating Doctor Strange, we of course need the typical portal in our scene. Luckily, we have Storyblocks, the sponsor for today's video, to help us with that. In their ever-growing library, with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can find numerous assets perfect to become the next Marvel superhero. Like for example energy shields, maybe some portals, some hologram hoods, energy balls and so on. And besides that you can find every stock assets in HD to 4K resolution, various After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time, epic music and sound effects for your hero movies and much more. Like we already said, Storyblocks is perfect to help you become a superhero. It's the radioactive spider to our Spider-Man. And we have numerous examples like our advanced superhero landing where we use the smoke and ground cracking assets from Storyblocks to really sell the effect. Or even better the Iron Man recreation where we combined multiple HUD elements from Storyblocks to become the next Tony Stark. And to top that off you can download as much assets as you want from their library with the unlimited all access plan. But don't worry they have multiple plans to fit everyone's need. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, then click the first link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Cinecom. Now that we have a cool portal in the beginning of our shot, let's create the third eye in the rest of the shot. Somewhere towards the end where our talent is completely turned around, we're going to create a duplicate and make it start from that point. Now let's start with tracking our forehead. You better hide that big ass forehead. <laughs> we looked for the Mocha AE effect in the effects library and dragged that to the duplicate clip. Then we just have to hit the Mocha logo in the effects control panel and that will open up a dedicated window. In the Mocha window we'll be using the spline tool which you can find in the top toolbar. We draw a rough mask around the forehead of our talent. Now we can track the entire clip. Of course, like always, adjust the tracking if needed. Then when our tracking is finished, we went to the beginning of your timeline and on top of the window we enabled the show planar surface and hit the expand planar surface button next to it. This will expand the planar surface to the same size of our sequence resolution. And this is a crucial step for linking our eye later on. Now save the tracking and close the mocha window. For our next step, let's bring in the eye clip and of course already sync the clip with the rest of the sequence. Then we selected the eye clip, went to the tracker panel and here we shows stabilized motion. We are doing this because our eye needs to be completely still when we want to stick it to our forehead. That's why we need to stabilize it first. And here we did something wrong. We used the tracking point a little bit too far from our eye, so it wasn't working correctly. That's why we tracked our eyebrow and stabilized it around that point. Once done we made sure that the edit target is set to current eye clip. Hit OK and then apply the stabilization to the clip. If done correctly our eye is stabilized. Then let's pre-compose the eye clip and on this new pre-comp we'll be drawing a mask around the stabilized eye. Of course we feathered the mask a whole bunch. Now we just have to position it on our forehead. However I'm not liking this tear duct and we want a more symmetrical eye. So we duplicated our pre-composed eye right 
right clicked on it, went to the transform option and flipped it horizontally. Next we adjusted the mask of our new clip to only cover the left half of the eye, making it all symmetrical. As an extra detail we used the curves effect to make the left side of our eye a little bit darker, matching it even better with the original lighting. Now select both eye clips and again pre-compose them. And this we are doing for a very good reason. If we now select the new pre-comp we can see that our clip has the same resolution as our sequence. And remember when we did the tracking with Mocha and made our track planar surface the same size as our sequence? Well it's all coming together now. We selected the tracked Mocha clip and in the effects control panel opened up the settings for Mocha. Under the tracking data tab we are going to hit the create track data button, bringing all the data inside of After Effects. If we now scrub through our timeline you can see these corner pinpoints starting in every corner and displaying the movement of the tracked planar surface over time. This movement we now need to bring to our eye clip. With the export option on the bottom we are going to select the corner pin option. For the layer export to option we will choose our third eye clip and we can now just hit the apply button, transferring the track data to our eye. And because our planar surface has the same resolution as our eye clip, the eye will sit perfectly on our forehead. Creepy but beautiful. Now to really finish the effect, let's create a skin opening transition just like they have. For this we again duplicated our original clip and laid it on top of everything. We also made it shorter to around 20 frames or so. Next we created two masks covering the face of the talent and these we are going to animate to open up from the middle away from each other. So of course enable the animation for the mask pad. And then over time we animated the masks until we have this eye shaped hole in the forehead of the talent. If you want you can create this dripping effect just like we did but it's a perfect personal choice. Again, feather the mask a little bit. Then to give the skin a little bit more depth, like a highlight and a shadow side. And for this we will be using the bevel alpha effect on our masked out forehead. We increased the edge thickness to around 30 or so and adjusted the light angle to match our lighting. Then we looked for the point where the masks were almost completely open and on this point we created a keyframe for the edge thickness and reduced it to zero on the end of the clip, making the depth effect fade away. And as a very last detail we are again going to pre-compose the new skin transition clip. And on that pre-comp we are going to create a feathered mask to really ensure that everything is blended in correctly. But we're also going to fade out the opacity towards the end, making the transition super smooth. What we also did was animating the darkness of the underlying eye, going from dark to normal when it gets revealed, adding to that realism. And that's it guys, we transcended to Doctor Strange. Or Doctor Weird. I am Dr. Weird. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, hit that like button. Thank you Storyblocks for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, go watch this video here on my left. Hit every like button, 